Good morning, my YouTubers and my Facebookers. Here's looking at you, Velma Hagar. Mm. Love my coffee. Okay, today we're going to talk about something pretty serious, though. I've been hearing so much about this lately. You know, about Christians hate people. That's what the world is saying. We hate homosexuals. And we hate people who have abortions. And we hate the Democrats. Look, let me tell you something. This is going to be a serious one. I want you to understand something. First of all, God made all of the laws in the Bible to protect us. They're for us. They're not for him. What does he care? Right? So when he tells us things, it's always for our own good. As Christians, I mean, I'm going to speak for myself, and I know I'm speaking for a lot of other Christians. I am a solid Christian. Do I do everything right? Oh, you betcha I don't. I'm a mess. I'm a mess just like you are. All of us are a mess, to tell you the truth. But we try. I believe God's word with all my heart. I believe every word in there. Somebody said to me one time, you know, I think you believe all that stuff you write. Well, yeah, I do believe it. I believe every word of it. Do I always do it? No, I don't. I mean, the word, the word says, you know, like we talk, all right, things that are a sin are a sin. You're not going to ever get me to say it's not. Okay? God's the one that said it. I will always back him up. But do I dislike the person who is doing the sin? No. Of course I don't dislike them. I do them too. Every time I overeat a half gallon of ice cream, I, that's gluttony. And gluttony is a sin. Now, you know why it's a sin? Because it's bad for us. Abortion. Is it a sin? Of course it's a sin. Don't ever say it's not. It's a sin. But do you have a right to do it? Yes. Do I still love you? Yes. People in my family have had abortions. Is being gay a sin? Yes, it's a sin. It's clear as a bell. It's in Romans 1. God says it's a sin. But do I hate you? Of course not. I have a granddaughter who is gay. I love her. But am I ever going to say it's not a sin? Don't even try to get me to say it. Because I will always say what God's word says. God forgives us for everything we do, you guys. Every single thing. You know, alcoholism is a sin. Not because God is mad at you for being an alcoholic or a druggie. But because he, he made the rule to protect us. You know, homosexuality, let's talk about that one. So you say, why would that protect us? He wanted us to prosper, have children. He goes, you know, to populate the earth. When you are gay, you don't get to have your own babies. Now, you can adopt, and a lot of them do, and I appreciate that. But that was the reason he made that. And, and then the other part of it is, you know as well as I do, there's a vulgar part that is there that's disgusting that they do when they drink each other's urine in public and stuff like that. That's disgusting. That's, that is perversion. That is sexual perversion. That's different from loving the opposite sex. Or the same sex, I'm saying, I should say. Having an abortion. There are times when abortion is necessary for to save somebody's life, to save a mother's life. Uh, there, you know, those things are acceptable. God over, God over, look, all of these things God overlooks if he asks for forgiveness, every one of them. But there are times that abortion is necessary. I, I concur, but is just, you know what? I'm not gonna have this baby. I'm gonna go get an abortion. And you know, I'm eight months pregnant, but I've decided I don't wanna have this baby and I'm gonna go ahead and have this baby killed at eight months old. You know, that is pure ass murder. <laughs> Pardon me, look at me, I just, <laughs> there I go. But anyway, I really felt it was time to talk about this. Christians, are there Christians that are judgmental? You betcha there are. There are some of them that are flat out jerks. I don't even think they're Christians. Because look, I don't care what you call yourself. 
A Christian is someone who follows Christ. That's what the word Christian means. If they aren't loving people, if they aren't moved to compassion for people, they are not a, a Christian. I don't care what they say. I don't care how many times they go to church. They're not a Christian. Because if you're a Christian, you, you at least try to do what Jesus did. We don't all make it, you know. Always remember that when I hear people say, well, you know, they did that and they're supposed to be a Christian. You know what? Let me tell you something. A Christian is just like you. They're, they make mistakes. Pastors run off with their piano player. You know, I mean, <sighs> priests abuse little boys. They're people. They're just people. And they should not be looked down on like, well, you know, they call themselves a Christian and yet they're, yeah, we call ourselves Christians and we do things wrong. Okay. But anybody who is out there doing what Jesus would not have them do is not a Christian. That's not right. I mean, there are things that are just flat out not right that Christians do. There's no doubt about it. And they're bringing a lot of this on themselves. It does say in the end times there will be great persecution against the church. Do not be part of that because you can't win, you know. I mean, you can do it, but in the end, God will always protect his, his, his church. Just let God do it. He says, touch not my anointed. Don't worry, he'll handle them. You just give it to God. You see a Christian doing something that's really jerky, you say, God, look at, look at your child there. Father, I pray that you would take charge. And he will, he will. But always remember, we love the sinner. Just because we don't admit that the sin isn't a sin, we can't do that. If we really believe God's word, we have to take everything that God says. He says it's a sin, it's a sin, it's a sin. That's all there is to it, whether you like it or not. It's a sin, but it's also forgivable. You know, there's, you know, all of us are sinners. Every single one of us, every single one of us are sinners. I hope I explained that. Don't, don't say, you know, I had someone the other day, don't use the word Christian. They hate homosexuals. They hate, I go, that is not true. We do not hate you at all. We hate the sin. I hate my own sin. I'm a one of the biggest, I mean, I judge people. That's one of my biggest things. God says, judge not or you will be judged. So, you know, it's a horrible sin, judging. And I've been a glutton in the past, but I'm not anymore because I'm on Weight Watchers now. But I've been a big glutton in the past. God puts gluttony right in with murders. And I mean, it's a horrible sin. Gluttony is so ugly when you see people, you know. And it's not just with food, it's gluttony with anything. Okay, I talked for eight minutes. I hope I said this right. I had so much I wanted to share. It's in my heart. But just know this. As a Christian, I'm trying to love everybody. There are people I flat out can't stand. But I'm trying to love them. You know, you don't have to like them, but you do have to love them. You know, I love all of you. I don't care what you're doing, but do I like what you're doing? No. All right, so get that in your head. I love you, but I don't like what you're doing. If you're doing something that God says not to do. All right? Does that make that clear? My Guido's over here asleep. He's the most precious little animal in the world. All right. Buy my book, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places, and it shows you all kinds of treasures throughout your life that you're just missing. You're walking right by them. They're right at your feet, and my book tells you how to see them. Thank you for watching me, you guys. Until next time, this is Velma Hagar bidding you a blessed day. Don't judge. Don't say we're haters either. I love you. <laughs>